Since I was a little kid, I've loved dinosaurs. I had a little dinosaur action figures around my room and countless books about them. One of my fondest memories as a child was playing Dinosaur Monopoly with people. Yes, that was a real game, at which you bought and sold rights to dinosaur sites. True story, would recommend, 10 out of 10. But getting back to the point, some video games such as Primal Carnage or Orion show dinosaurs coexisting with humans in the modern age. But how close are we for bringing back dinosaurs? Today, on the New Age Gamers, we are going to look into de-extinction and figure out how close are we for bringing these creatures back from the dead? Species of animals can be brought back by cloning or another or rarer form of de-extinction called selective breeding. In cloning, all we need is a tangible DNA source, such as hair or skin sample, then extract the DNA, and after a while, work to bring the animal back. While selective breeding works a bit differently, in selective breeding, animals which are genetically close to an extinct animal are bred for their traits, and after many generations, show characteristics of the formerly extinct animals. This does not quite bring the animals back from the dead, but it creates a new subspecies. This sounds great, but this is where the movies and video games kind of fall apart. According to John Hutchinson, a former paleontologist from the University of California states that if we could find a piece of amber at which held dinosaur DNA in it, the amber would be useless. After the countless years that have passed since the dinosaurs have died out, the DNA inside the amber would have degenerated to the point that it holds no more genetic value. This means that even if we use the DNA to patch it back together, it would simply not be enough to bring back a dinosaur. Though my dreams of riding a T-Rex have been crushed, <laughs> we can still bring back other animals. For example, animals that have become extinct in the last century are prime candidates for genetic retrieval and cloning. Some of these animals include the, the Tasmanian tiger or or the passenger pigeon, or even the mighty heath hen. It's a glorified prairie chicken. You watch your mouth. <sighs> now, this is where things can get even more interesting. Long dead animals are also now targets of de-extinction, such as the moa, or even the mighty woolly mammoth. The moa has been extinct since around 1400, but moa eggs still remain intact and in prime condition for genetic retrieval. In fact, this issue has been discussed in the Moa's homeland parliament of New Zealand. Trevor Mallard is a politician from New Zealand and argued that with the right funding, the Moa can be brought back within our lifetimes. Now, I know what you're thinking. How can we bring back a woolly mammoth, but we can't bring back a dinosaur? Well, this story begins in 2013 when a Russian scientist uncovered the remains of a woolly mammoth in Siberia. But these remains were so well preserved that it looked like it had died a month ago, opposed to thousands of years ago. This DNA from this creature is so perfect, it can be used for the resurrection of the species. However, de-extinction has come under fire in the past. With de-extinction, one is upsetting the natural order by bringing long dead animals back. What if we could bring back other species of humans? that walk the earth such as Neanderthals. If we do that, we run into issues like what does it mean to be human? Should we grant Neanderthals rights as people or treat them as animals? With that, where does cloning stop? What if we could bring our loved ones back from the dead via cloning? This would put ethics on the edge of what is acceptable and what is immoral. De-extinction rewrites Darwin and presents us with a brave new world. De-extinction is an interesting concept. We can right wrongs as a species by bringing back animals our ancestors hunted to extinction. But with that, we open a Pandora's box of possibilities. Only time will tell if we as a people will bring back animals or leave them in the annals of history long forgotten. And on that questionable note, this is Brody and the New Age Gamers wishing you a great day. Before you go, I would just like to say go check out our friend Danny Humphrey at Cinema Corner. He just got done reviewing another great dinosaur movie, which ties into what we were talking about today. 
Jurassic World. Link is in the description. Subscribe for more, drop a like, and don't forget to visit us on social media.